Hi Cancer, this is your monthly September tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my monthly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll get you an advice for the whole month of September. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this month. We have the Eight of Pentacles, clarified by the Eight of Swords. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Knight of Swords, clarified by the Two of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have the Ace of Swords with the Three of Ones and the Four of Ones. And we also have the Lovers on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, um, a Gemini in particular, but it could be any Air Sign or any Zodiac Sign for that matter. This is a general reading. So the first thing I heard in my head once I was uh, done laying down all these cards was change of plans. So this person coming into your life, um, they will stir the pot a little bit in a very positive way, so you will have to change your plans. And uh, so here's why. We've got the Eight of Pentacles, clarified by the Eight of Swords, the first two cards on the left. The Eight of Pentacles, this is you working on something or perhaps you think you planned to work in September. To, perhaps you have projects starting, perhaps you've got goals, perhaps you've um, made plans to do something, to get something done or to get something started. Basically, you've uh, already made plans for September with the Eight of Pentacles and uh, you are going to be busy doing that, whatever that is. And uh, you're actually going to be stuck doing that, right? Because the Eight of Pentacles is clarified by the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords in this particular spread, I believe this is you, kind of bonded, right? And uh, you are already busy. You already have plans. You're already doing something. And uh, uh, you have to spend time on that or spend most of your time on that, right? However, here comes the challenger, right? <laughs> this person is going to come into your life and uh, you'll have to make a decision whether you want to uh, start spending time with this person or sort of brush this person off until you're done working on uh, whatever it is you're working on, right? So the next card I came out is the Ace of Cups. <clears throat> the Ace of Cups is actually one of the best cards when it comes to love offers. It's always a genuine, authentic, emotional love offer. Then we've got the Knight of Swords, clarified by the Two of Cups. The Knight of Swords could be an air sign, <clears throat> Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or it could be the energy of this person rushing into your life so quickly, so unexpectedly, and uh, <clears throat> they're bringing in their cup of love with them, right? First of all, like I said, we've got the Ace of Cups, and uh, the Knight of Swords is clarified by the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is um, one of the best cards when it comes to love, period. This is soulmate love, unconditional love, and it's when two people are on the same page and uh, the feelings they have for each other are mutual. So this person is going to um, change quite a few things, or you will have to change quite a few things in your life. And I think that's why we have the lovers on the bottom of the deck. The lovers could be a Gemini you're dealing with, but the lovers is also a card of a choice, and that's what I think you'll most likely face, a choice to continue spending as much time as you can working on whatever it is you're working on or um, readjust your priorities and um, pay more attention to this person so to speak right spend more time with them or uh, get change basically change your perspective about September or change your perspective about uh, your foreseeable future and not even foreseeable future perhaps a few years down the road because this person is coming in with a lot of love and uh, as I was mentioning with the Tilf Cops this is when two people are on the same page and the feelings they have for each other are mutual so you will be falling for this person you'll definitely be falling for this person and that's why we got the lovers there the lovers is not only a card of a choice this is also a soulmate card so we've got two soulmate cards on the table the lovers could also be a twin flame connection card if you believe in twin flames and the lovers could simply be the lover of your life right in the potential outcome we have the ace of swords with the three of ones and the four of ones i really like that progression from the three to four but first we've got the ace of swords and, it, and it's kind of symbolic that we've got the knight of swords uh, prior to the ace of swords and the knight of swords is holding out a sword and I think that's exactly 
uh, the sword we see in the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is all about a brand new beginning. It could be an unexpected new beginning. The Ace of Swords is all about uh, some sort of truth or a very straightforward and direct conversation this person will have with you. So you will know exactly what this person wants. This person is not going to be beating around the bush. This person is not going to be taking their time. They will want to get the show on the road with you right there and right now. <laughs> right? And uh, with the 3 of ones, I think this is probably your energy. The 3 of ones is my card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision. And uh, it could be your energy, like I said, it could be their energy. Uh, they made up their mind to pursue you, they made up their mind that uh, they want to have a commitment with you. Or it could be both of your energies, right? After that conversation the two of you will have with the Ace of Swords. And what you're making up your mind about is to move towards a commitment. The last card I came out is the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is one of the uh, commitment or marriage cards. So yeah, very interesting, very dynamic month for you Cancer. This person is coming in and uh, they're going to change your life uh, for a foreseeable and not only for a foreseeable future. You'll have to sort of adjust your priorities, but I think it's going to be it's going to be good for you, right? Change is inevitable, so embrace it. <laughs> Cancer. <laughs> you know how we often plan things but then something else comes along and uh, we have to change our uh, priorities, we have to change our way of life and I think that's what's happening here. But like I said, I think it's going to be good for you. You're not going to regret uh, giving this person a chance. And I do see you falling in love with this person. And this person is definitely your soulmate. Alright, Cancer, really happy for you. Congratulations. Cancer, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Moon, we have the Nine of Cups clarified by the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Two of Cups, and we also have the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Pisces. This is an improvement spread. Things are about to get better, or if you were afraid that um, you weren't going to go somewhere, like on a vacation trip, then you're going. <laughs> Alright, so the first card I came out as the Moon is the personal Pisces card. So if uh, you're dealing with a Pisces, then this spread makes total sense. If you're not dealing with a Pisces, then the Moon in this case is um, you sort of being in a, a little bit emotional about something. Perhaps you have fears that something is not going to happen, or perhaps your relationship, your marriage became kind of stale, kind of boring, and uh, now you're feeling that your relationship could be coming to an end, or you're thinking that, uh, <clears throat> you know, you're just being kind of sad and a little bit depressed, you're having anxieties about something. It could be about this relationship, this marriage, or it could be about a trip. In a nutshell, that's what that's what I think is happening here. But like I said, this is an improvement spread. And the next card I came out is the Nine of Cups, and it's clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. The Nine of Cups is a card of a wish come true, or this is a card of personal satisfaction. And the Wheel of Fortune could be a start or a restart, a new cycle between you and this person, right? So if you've been I'm not sure if you didn't know if this person will ever propose to you, for example, they're about to propose to you. That's why we have the Wheel of Fortune here. That will basically launch this new uh, cycle in your life. Uh, if you've been not sure whether you are going to go someplace or not, then you're going, because the Wheel of Fortune could symbolize um, a trip, right? Or, like I said, something is going to happen that will sort of rejuvenate um, revive your relationship or your marriage and you'll be definitely satisfied about that. Then we've got the Two of Cups right next to the deck. The Two of Cups, this is the two of you're in love, right? And the, the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck, all the way here, right? This is a card of your relationship or marriage. Some people call the Four of Wands the 11-11 card. Uh, to me personally, the Four of Wands uh, reminds me of the actual wedding because in some cultures when people get married, they do it underneath the structure with the leaves and branches. And the structure in the four of ones always reminds me of that. For so, for those of you who weren't, who didn't know if this person is ever going to marry you, this person isn't going to marry you, <laughs> right? So yeah, things are um, going to improve. Things will start looking better. And uh, for those of you who wanted to go on the trip, you're going. All right.
Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for your accounts for this month. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have Temperance, clarified by the Knight of Cups. We have the Five of Wands, we have the Sun, and we also have Justice on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, another Cancer Scorpio, or Pisces. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Libra. Right, so somebody will make a very serious attempt to uh, get back into your good graces, to reconcile with you, and I do think they are going to succeed. <laughs> I do think um, this is a reconciliation spread. There is going to be a hoop to jump through, right? Because um, we got the five of ones right there in the middle, and since it's not the first card that came out, then the five of ones. I think this is the two of you will. Uh, you'll just basically have a very heated discussion, and it. I'm, I'm just going to give you a, um, a word of wisdom. It could become a blame game, right? So try to stay away from that because this the goal here is to get back together and overcome what happened, not to uh, restart this whole fighting thing, right? Uh, so hopefully the two of you will just basically talk it out with the five of ones and um, get back together, <laughs> all right? The first guy that came out is Temperance. Uh, temperance is the personal Sagittarius card, but if we want to stay general, then Temperance is all about healing, reconciling, getting back together, burying the hatchet. The Knight of Cups, clarifying Temperance. It could be a water sign, Cancer Scorpio, or Pisces, or this is the energy of this person coming back in. They are still deeply in love with you. The Knight of Cups is often called the Knight in the Shining Armor. The Knight of Cups is, is pretty much always about genuine, authentic love right then the right next to the deck we have the sun the sun is the happiest card in the deck i really like the fact that the, the sun came out last right then we also have justice on the bottom of the deck justice is the personal libra card you could be dealing with a libra but i think justice is either a major major apology justice could also be about uh, this person wanting to make things right and justice often plays out as a card of a marriage right uh, justice could represent the legal system and by that I mean it could be an actual place where people get married like a chapel or justice could represent uh, somebody who's got the authority to marry other people so it could be a government clerk or it could be a minister or a priest but I really like justice here I really do that means that the two of you will be um, reconciling and the two of you will be compromising and uh, basically getting back together. Alright, so this is a reconciliation spread. I, I, I'm going to warn you one more time with that 501s in the middle, just make sure it doesn't become a blame game. Alright? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business and your finances, Cancer, this month. We have the King of Cups, we have the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Star and we also have the Sun on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, another Cancer Scorpio or Pisces, you could be dealing with an Earth Sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you could also be dealing with an Aquarius. So this King of Cups, the first card that came out, it could be a Water Sign, another Cancer Scorpio or Pisces reaching out to you, or it could be your energy cancer, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And uh, if you are a business owner, if uh, you invest money into something, so you work like a um, financial institution, or if uh, you're in charge of finances somehow, right, so you could be like um, a fund manager or investment portfolio manager, you could be making an offer to somebody here with the Knight of Pentacles, right? Or it could be an offer being made to you and this offer could be coming from this King of Cups, right? The Knight of Pentacles is a very serious offer. It's a, If it's a new job offer, then it's a very decent chunk of change. If it is an investment opportunity offer, this is a very serious one. Um, if this is an offer to do business together, then this person means business, <laughs> right? And uh, we have the star right next to the deck. The star is a personal Aquarius card, or the star is a wish come true, right? So whatever it is, however it's going to play out, it's going to make you really happy. It's going to be a wish come true for you. Perhaps if this is a new job offer, you always wanted this job or this type of job. Um, the Knight of Pentacles could just be money being paid to you. It could be dividends, it could be a bonus, 
anything, right? And we also got the sun on the bottom of the deck. The sun is the happiest card in the deck, and that's exactly how you'll feel. You'll feel very happy. So overall, this is a very positive spread. You definitely have money coming in or you could be making an offer to someone yourself and uh, it's going to all work out for you. All right? Cool. Here's an advice or a word of wisdom for you, Cancer, for the whole month of uh, September. We have uh, the Three of Swords, we have the Two of Wands, clarified by the Chariot, we have Justice, clarified by the Hierophant, and uh, we also have the Fool on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with another Cancer, you could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, so pretty much any sign. This spread is all about giving a second chance to someone here, and I think this is the advice. It could be uh, related to the X spread I did for you a few minutes ago. In, the, in that X spread I did see a reconciliation. But this spread could be about anything, right? So it could be giving a second chance to a friend, to a colleague at work, to a business partner. Um, but like I said, this is a second chance spread. All right, so the first card I came out is the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is a card of a breakup. This is a card of a devastation. This is a card of a betrayal, right? So this is what happened in the past between you and a particular individual. Then we've got the Two of Wands, clarified by the Chariot. So I would just have to assume that this person is going to come back and ask for a second chance. And there you are with the Two of Wands, right, uh, making a decision as to what you want to do here. The Two of Wands is clarified by the Chariot. The Chariot is your personal card, Cancer, that is you. So you are the one with the Two of Wands making up your mind, making a decision. And like I said, the advice here is to give this person a second chance. The Fool on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of a second chance in this particular spread. We also have Justice with the Hierophant. Justice is a card of an apology. Coming from this person, justice is all about making things right, right? Then the Hierophant could be a Taurus you're dealing with, but the Hierophant could also be about something traditional, like a committed relationship or marriage, or the Hierophant could be about something formal, right? So if this person uh, stabbed you in the back in terms of finances, then this time around they're going to make things right, they're going to do everything by the book, um, they will make sure everything is um, on paper, pretty much. Right, so yeah, the uh, word of wisdom for you, if somebody comes back asking for a second chance, um, just think about it, sleep on it, and if this person um, feels genuine to you, then give them a second chance. Alright, Cancer, so that's what I got for you for this month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Don't forget to check out my other videos on this channel, and other than that, Cancer, have an amazing September. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.